Ask Jeff YouTube channel. Here's today's question. With the recent Supreme Court decision in favor of the Pennsylvania football coach upholding his right to public prayer, how does public prayer coincide with Matthew chapter 6, verses 5 through 8? Famous passage, Sermon on the Mount. Jesus Christ is communicating that our prayer life, our conversation with him, should never be one that draws attention to ourselves. that we should not make long pretense of public prayer. And oftentimes, we have prayer that is public. I was called upon on the National Day of Prayer to pray on behalf of our community within our community. There are times, even at football games, in days past and occasionally days present, I'm called to pray. City council meetings, school, whatever it may be, there are times where we are asked to pray. Here's the thing. Those prayer opportunities should never be about ourselves, but they should be an opportunity to corporately pray and recognize the Lord at those times. Those are not violations of Matthew chapter 6. A violation of Matthew chapter 6 is that where you make your public prayer a point of, hey, look at me, watch what I'm doing, I'm trying to create a scene. That's where the question comes in with this football coach. Now, I don't know the man's heart, I've never met him, I have read about the case, and if I understand correctly, uh, either before and or after the game, probably both, if you want to be honest, he would just very quietly make his way to the football field and he would, quote, say a prayer to himself, well, to the Lord, but by himself. This is not an unusual practice. I go to a lot of football games, high school and college, and oftentimes you'll see a respected position group or a group of, of young men make their way to the end zone or the midway point, 50-yard line, and they'll pray. In fact, um, I think every team my boys play for, there's a group of boys that do this at some point before and or after the game. And they're not making a big deal like, hey, look at us. They're just having a quiet moment of prayer. Now, if this coach were to go out on the field after the game and draw everybody's attention, grab a microphone, whatever, then I think we'd have the right to go to Matthew 6 and say, hey, coach, I, I think you see this wrongly or you're doing it wrongly. A simple, quiet, public prayer. So let's make it in our world. Uh, let's say that you're a school teacher and you decide that before the school day begins, you're going to kneel in your classroom and pray. And somebody walks by and sees you. Are you in violation of Matthew 6? Of course not. You're just setting the tone for your day through prayer, just like this coach was. It just so happens that his job tends to be a little public, but he wasn't making it public. He was just praying on the field that he would be doing his job on for that game. Great question. You have one? Send it to askjeff.net. Maybe your question will be tomorrow's. Thanks for being a part of today's Daily Question. Now, we answer a question each and every day. Please feel free to submit a new question at AskJeff.net. We may not have gotten to yours today, but we eventually will continue to be a part of this. Subscribe so you don't miss out on a question every day.